Then let's set out for Ceyron after we get some rest. I'm glad Yuito trusted us. He's such a kid, though. I can't tell if he's honest, a sucker, or just too nice. Yes, you're right. But that might be what makes him strong. Gemma. I'm sorry to bother you about this, Kasane. It's fine. I wanted to talk to you, too. To apologize. Why? I'm the one who should say sorry. You don't have any reason to apologize to me. I just dumped all my feelings on you without any regard for yours. If I'm being honest, I still don't think I completely understand how you feel right now. However, after everything I've experienced lately, I think I can imagine it a little. Did something happen? You really felt like you wanted to die? Not me, Naomi. She said that she didn't want to live anymore. She didn't want to live as an other. Her sanity being maintained with medicine made of human brains. She said that? I didn't understand her at the time. I wanted her to live no matter what it meant. But now I partly understand where she's coming from. That feeling that makes you want to run away from life when things are so incredibly hard and painful. If that's what you were feeling, then I realized I didn't have any right to complain to you. Thank you for understanding. Let me just say it again. I shouldn't have unloaded my feelings of self-pity on you. I'm old enough to know better. So I brought you something as a token of apology. Is that a packed lunch? Yeah, they're all from the recipes Naomi gave me. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but maybe you'd be willing to give him a taste. Thank you. I wanted to taste what her recipes were like. This is stir-fried mackerel and green peppers. This is vegetable namul, and that's shredded meat. Wow, you really went all out. I'm still learning, so I've burnt some of them. It may not look appetizing, but it should still be edible. I'll take this then. Not bad. It does remind me of my sister's cooking a little. Really? Yes. It doesn't even come close to the real thing, though. I see. But getting you to say that it reminds you of it is still an accomplishment. It's fairly good and a little familiar. It must have taken you a while to make all of this. It wasn't a big deal. Cooking helps calm me. It's perfect for self-reflection. You think so? Yes. Although I used to think it was a waste of time. I thought about what you said while I cooked. Which part? I think I said a lot the last time we talked. About how I wanted to roll over and die, and how that was selfish. It really hit me hard, thinking how much Naomi wants to live in her original body. And about how much all my friends who died in battle would have wanted to live. It made me realize that wasting whatever life I have left was disrespecting their memory. Part of me thinks you're taking it a little too seriously, but I'm glad I got through to you. I might be too serious. But I plan to live the rest of my life to its fullest. How? First thing is to get back to eating healthy with Naomi's recipes. I also want to reevaluate the way I spend my weekends. Maybe find a new hobby besides cooking. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm sure your cooking will get better with practice. Then I guess I'll keep at it. Would you mind tasting more of my food sometime? Of course. Thanks. I still have trouble figuring out what's good or bad since I've never been concerned about how my cooking tasted before. You seem like you're enjoying it. I am, although it stresses me out while I'm doing it. But maybe I enjoy that part too. He looks so alive. 
Maybe he started to feel more positive about his life. You don't remember being in Togetsu at all, Kasane? No. I only remember bits and pieces. Did you know me then? No, I didn't. I'm sorry I didn't tell you anything. You look so relieved, Major. Your beauty just shines through. There's a weight off my chest now that I told you everything. What about you? Me? Can't you tell? I'm so refreshed from talking that I'm 50% more fresh-faced. I see. Sorry to keep you waiting. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Oh, Kasane. Oh. What is it? N nothing But you just look like you noticed something. Did you see something with your clairvoyance? <sighs> well, I won't pry if it's uncomfortable for you to share. Um... Yes? Your left knee. My left knee. You may not have noticed, but there's a bruise. You might have hit it during a fight. Oh, now that you mention it, I did hit it in my last fight. I think you should get that treated. The bone isn't hurt, but it might leave a mark. Good idea. I'll get it looked at when I get back to the hideout. I'm surprised you noticed. I had a feeling you were subconsciously favoring your left leg when you were walking over here. I was worried, so I couldn't help but use my power. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing? I should be thanking you for telling me about my injury. Because I violated your privacy by looking under your clothes. It's not good to use my power without permission like that. Ah, I see. That's why you felt uncomfortable telling me. I suppose that would be the general consensus. Some things are off-limits. I'm not a child anymore, but I'm still doing the same stuff as back then. Did something happen when you were younger? Yes. I didn't realize back then that what I can see isn't something I necessarily should see. When I told people what I saw, they would get uncomfortable and sometimes get scared of me. I finally realized that I shouldn't be doing things like that. That looking underneath someone's clothes or inside their home was bad. Is it really so bad? What? I mean, nobody wants to have their secrets revealed. You wouldn't like that, would you? To be honest, that wouldn't really bother me. Really? Yeah, I don't have any secrets. People can look all they want. Are you saying you can see inside people's bodies, too? Yes. It can be a little revolting if you're not used to it. Then not only can you see injuries, you can detect internal diseases early as well. That means your power can save lives. It's fascinating. There really aren't many that can do that. I think it's a wonderful power. Uh, you're the first person other than Kagro to say that. That's surprising. I thought the OSF would evaluate your effectiveness quite highly. They tell me it's effective in battle, but my power hasn't often been noted for its everyday uses. I've been mindful in trying to avoid seeing things, or not talk about it if I do see something. It's a strange feeling being told I can look. It does take a weight off my shoulders, though. Well, that's good. Yes. Thanks, Kasane. Thank you, for finding my injury. By the way, 
Didn't you have something you wanted to discuss? Oh, we can talk about that some other time. Really? I still have time now. It's okay, really. I'll talk to you about it the next time I see you. Sure. See you then. She seems to have a lot on her mind. I can't help but be a little concerned. Next time I see her, I need to make sure we talk. Hey, Kasane, you free right now? I guess so. What is it this time? You remember my promise from before, right? A fun and exciting date with your one and only Daddy Kagero. You're not my father, and I'm not interested in a date. What? You told me the last one was super boring. You shattered my fragile heart into itty-bitty pieces. You're still bothered by that? Fine, I'll say it was fun. No, no, that's not what I mean. I want to make up for it. Besides, you know how I hid my past? I wanted to apologize for that. So this is like a second chance coupled with an apology. The apology is fine, but I don't know why it has to be with a date. It's like my dream, I guess? Just say yes, please. Let me show you a good time you won't forget. So, how was it? The dining experience at Baki's Cafe is supposed to be very popular with high school girls. I think Naomi and Yuito would have enjoyed it more, but it was fun. No complaints here. Next up is dessert. I'll get you anything you want. Cake? Parfait, maybe? I'm fine with just tea. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Already got a cup. Wait, when did you... Oh. You used your invisibility power. That's an interesting use for it. You can't just reveal my secret like that. Even if you know how it's done, it's more fun when you pretend you don't. Like this. I grew this flower from a seed. The flower symbolizes hidden kindness. A perfect match for you. So, what do you think so far? Well, you seem to be following the standard dating norms I read in magazines but they all have a nice Kagero twist. However, something's bothering me. You've gone through a lot of effort just to make up for lying. You're either really perceptive or overly distrusting. But yeah, I guess it's time I tell you. The truth is, I tried to assassinate you back in the day, so that's kind of included in this apology. Assassinate? Hmm. From the looks of it, you haven't realized it at all. Guess that means I still got it. Fortunately, I didn't have to go through with it, but I was waiting for the right opportunity. Like trying to be alone with you. As the one you were targeting, I believe I have a right to know why. It was to stop Togetsu's plan. Their plan hinged on your power, 
so I thought that killing you might be the best option left for me. Of course, now that you've decided not to support them, I've got no reason to hurt you. You can trust me on that. Well, I don't doubt that, but I'm still not satisfied. What, really? I guess this wouldn't be enough to make up for trying to kill you. I could do something even... It's not that. It's just... killing someone. Is it that easy for you to do? I don't understand how you could make that decision so easily. Even if it is to achieve your goal. There's no way I could do that. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. I mean, it's not like I don't value life or anything like that. But yeah, if I seem cynical about it, it's probably because I don't feel like I'm very... alive, I guess you could say. I'm like a ghost from the past, existing in a time when his family and everyone he knew is long gone. Your family? You mentioned you left them on the moon. Yeah, I had a wife and daughter. My daughter was simply the cutest. You'd be surprised she was related to me. She didn't have a bad bone in her body. I loved her dearly and she meant so much to me. But in the end, I couldn't do anything for her as a father. What's even more sad is that I've got no idea what kind of person she grew up to be. I mean, really, could I be a worse father? That's why, at the very least, I want to protect the life she lived. I'll do whatever it takes, even if it means turning against my homeland. I might even kill if it comes down to it. <sighs> How about we leave this off here? I think you've heard enough. All right. So, what did you think of Daddy Kagero's date? Pretty awesome, right? Yes, I would say it was worthwhile. I think I learned a little about who you are. Ah, you finally realized what a wonderful, charming person I am. Oh, I'm such a heartbreaker. Although, I still don't know how serious you are because you always joke around. You know, I don't really know either. Huh? Just kidding. Sorry to make you help me fulfill my dreams today. See you later. I wonder what he meant by that. I feel like I got to know him a little better, but trying to understand other people isn't that easy. Boy, you really are capable, Kasane. I'm detecting some sarcasm. If I was being sarcastic, I'd say it sarcastically. I have a pretty good eye for people. Just accept the compliment. You really are getting along well with the guys in this platoon. My hat's off to you. I think you'll find that I can warm your frosty heart. There's no need for that. At least I know now that you're actually considerate. Really? Thanks! Kasane, do you remember when I said I wanted you to help me with a job? For payment of the rations that you treated me to. Yeah, I'm going to cash that in now. Don't worry, the job will be worth your time. What are all these? Looks like empty bottles, junk parts, candy wrappers... And they're all mixed together. Exactly. I need you to sort them. Why do you have so much? I kinda got lazy and didn't get around to cleaning them up. Oh, yeah, take care of this trash bag for me, too. Don't throw it. You got trash everywhere again. Hmm? Now what could this be? 
You don't see that many handwritten letters anymore. How interesting. Oh, that. You can throw that out, too. But it's unopened. Let's see. It's from Major General Fubuki. What if it's important? Are you sure you don't want to check it? Then he would have messaged me instead of using this archaic method. If you're that curious, be my guest and read it. Don't mind if I do. You didn't even hesitate. So, anything surprising? No. Basically, he's filling you in on what he's been up to. Also, he says not to drink too much soda. I thought so. He sends me letters filled with stuff that doesn't matter. I don't get it at all. I would reply to a message, but a letter? Just opening it is a pain. If he's going through the trouble of handwriting a letter, don't you think it means there's something special he's trying to get across? If that's the case, then you should really cherish these. You never know what could happen to us next. Look, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying, but these letters have been piling up, and just finding a place to keep them is a pain. Besides, just getting the letter lets me know that he's doing okay. So you can throw this in the trash. Fubuki and I aren't like you sisters. You're awfully stubborn. Exactly. You're a perceptive one. She's so very different from me and Naomi. Especially how little she seems to care about her brother. Still... Arashi, remember the Major General Fubuki you saw in the future? Yeah, what about him? You were angry, weren't you? I mean, you saw it with your own eyes. You keep saying that you're not those kinds of siblings, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So why... I mean, of course I'd get mad if he died. I feel like human emotion is a strange mechanism. Really? More importantly, Kasane, I don't see your hand sorting through the trash. Huh? That was a good distraction, but you're not getting out of your work. I wasn't trying to get out of it. I'm not like you. Great. Then good luck here. I'll be busy skipping out on my own work. Have fun. Looks like she dodged my question. You have some potential, Kasane. I could be your instructor if you want. I can teach you the fundamentals of Arashi style slacking off. Wouldn't you just slack off and not teach me anything? Hmm. I have nothing more to teach you. <laughs> well done. you. I'm developing a greater personal interest in you. I don't know what made you think that, but is deepening our understanding of each other a good thing? You have a good eye.
This is wonderful. Time to get a little rest. I think we're all rested up. Yeah, we can.